Well, it's tough to imagine a life so poor that one would have to scavenge from the garbage dump just to feed his family. But for many Cambo of Cambodia's poorest, it's their only option to survive. With your help, Crossroads Relief and Development has been making a significant difference in the lives of Cambodian children. Watch this. It was known as Smoky Mountain, one of Cambodia's largest, most dangerous dumps. Thousands used to comb through garbage here, scavenging for survival. In response to international outrage, the government shut it down in 2009. While this improved serious health risks, it also removed the only source of income for thousands of people. Hundreds of families still live there and continue to scavenge the streets, trying to eke out an existence. I moved here from the province because there wasn't any work. I work around the dump with my wife. Cheng Chak and his wife Nan make close to $4 a day picking through garbage. With two young children, they are worried about the future. I don't want to be doing this. It's difficult to afford anything for them, but it's a way to earn money. The work is still dangerous. Like many others, Chang and his wife suffer from several related health issues. That's why they're thankful for Crossroads Relief and Development's on-the-ground partner, Transform Asia, an organization that offers a safe place for their children during the day. Every day, Joy Childcare picks up more than 50 preschool-aged children who live near the former dump. When they come here, they can get happy happiness. Yeah, like play game or to do something that they're happy. And sometimes they go to play around outside. Yeah, so not the same before. It's also one of the only places they can get a nutritious meal, warm shower, and clean clothes. When the kids come here, they they every day they, they cannot wait to, to to have a car to arrive and they're gonna come to uh, to this place. That's why they have a clean place, clean area, and enough food to eat, and has some uh, little education that they can get from here. What do you like about the Joy Child Care Center? This little girl, Sreilip, is learning English in Khmer at the center, an opportunity she wouldn't otherwise have. And it's this kind of care that gives parents like Chang and Nan hope. We are so happy that there are good people who are helping to take care of our children, who are helping them stay clean and giving them something while we try and work. <laughs> Will you join with us and help give life to children like Sreilip? We are making a difference. Please visit crossroads.ca to donate. And now our international producer for Crossroads Relief and Development, Cheryl Weber, joins us. Cheryl, what a heart-touching piece to see those children whose families uh, were, were trying to live a life in the, in the dump and do what they can to just get some pennies together. Uh, but now they're being taken care of in this... Uh, daycare area. It's such a great story, you know, and I've been to the dump. I've seen little kids with bare feet walking through garbage, you know, like you would never let your child do that. It's so toxic. And for us to be able to take those kids out of the dump for the day and just give them, you know, clean clothes, cleaned off, good food. You know, the World Food Program estimates that 40% of Cambodian kids are malnourished. Mm. That's huge. So when you can, in most countries that we work in, if you can give them one meal a day that's nutritious, sometimes that's all they get, but it makes a huge difference in their nutrition. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, and so to be able to, uh, to have a project like this and working with partners on the ground is, is just so life transforming for these families. Uh, I know some of our viewers might remember uh, a number of years ago when we kind of launched into this, uh, this area in Cambodia and, and meeting this need, we were referring to a, a dump daycare center. And, uh, and this is what has come of that. And so those of you who've supported that, you've helped to make it possible and you continue to do that through your support. But it's just tremendous to see it uh, happening and, and daily bringing in kids. You know what? It's the faithfulness of our partners. That's the reason this is happening. And, you know, all over the world, kids are some of the most vulnerable people around the world. And we're really committed to, to searching them out and helping them. This daycare is kids under five. You can see, like, they're so adorable. You just want to take them home with you every yeah. time I go. But, you know, it's just so, they're so excited to be there every day to get on the bus. And parents are so relieved because if we didn't have that daycare, parents would be taking those kids with them in garbage all day long. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, um, smoke out of it, it's burning, yeah. it's bad for your lungs, and not to mention what comes into your skin. So right. it's so important, and I'm just so thankful that people yeah. have got behind this that we can continue it year after year. 
and you can uh, continue to get behind it and to help support the Ministry of Crossroads, various projects around the world that you're making a huge difference in your support. Uh, can be uh, come in right now by calling 1-800-265-3100. And there's also a way to text a, a donation if you want to text. Yes, so you can text 410 LIFE to 41010 for an instant $10 do donation. And we don't mind if you do that again and again and again. Okay. <laughs> so it's LIFE well, to 41010. There you go for $10. All right, Cheryl, thank you so much for bringing us this uh, update from Cambodia. And thanks to our friends who are making it all possible. Keep up the great work.